I had a Sicilian mother. Buono giornata, amici miei. Good day, my friends. My name is Sandy, and I come from a crazy Sicilian family. Every stereotype you have ever heard is true for the kind of meatballs in our family sauce. My grandparents lived near Mount Etna, and I always heard stories about how it always smoked because it was active. As in fine Italian tradition, I was named after my father's mother because I was the first born girl. Nana's name was Santa, which means saint. My friends crack up when they hear that. They know I am not, neither was she, but that is another story. I ended up with the Americanized Sandra and I go by Sandy. Cooking is in my DNA. As an itty bitty person, I followed my mom around the kitchen. I remember playing with the pots and pans. Then I got to actually add ingredients to the dish my mom was dishing up. The food bug hit and that was that. My mom, whose name was Dot, was way ahead of her time. She was concerned about health, which was not always the concern of other Italian cooks during the 1960s. She would spend hours reading about health and medicine. Inspiring. As a result, my blog is health food related. I grew up eating lots of low fat Italian food. As we go along, I will dole out these recipes originating directly from Dot's kitchen. I will also share my tried and true recipes. In this blog, I will explore the many facets of food, trying to keep good health in mind. I will entrust my readers with my old Italian recipes. They are yummy, although sometimes caloric. My philosophy is everything in moderation. My readers need to know my passions in this order. Cooking with my daughter, the Boston Red Sox, food, my golden retriever, Freddy, and my cats, Betsy and Lulu. In my spare time, I judge gymnastics meets. All are an important part of my story and the story is long, so let's get started. Please join me in my journey on cookhealthfood.com. That's all for now.